Today, we're about to talk about restricted places, but these ones are a little bit different. Yes, because no human has ever been to these places before. What secrets could lie in these restricted, unexplored places? Well, you're gonna find out today. And we're starting off the list with Gangkar Puensum. This is the highest unclimbed mountain in the entire world. It's 24,836 feet tall, almost the size of Everest. It's in that ballpark. Its name translates to White Peak of the Three Spiritual Brothers. Now, there have been attempted climbs of this mountain, but none were ever successful, and there probably never will be any successful climbs of the highest peak, because in 1994, climbing of any mountain above 20,000 feet in Bhutan was banned due Due to the locals viewing these peaks as sacred. And then in 2003, mountaineering was banned in the country altogether. In 1998, a Japanese team of climbers attempted to ascend the mountain anyway, receiving permission from the Chinese Mountaineering Association, because part of it extends across the Chinese border. But there was an uproar in Bhutan and their permit was revoked. So who knows what the view is like from all the way up there. At nearly 25,000 feet, it must be pretty spectacular. Okay, my friends, next up, have you heard of Heard Island? How about the McDonald Islands? Well, if you have heard of them, I can guarantee you've never been. Why? Because they're banned, restricted, off limits. They have frickin' sharks with frickin' lasers. No, I'm just kidding. The islands are in fact not inhabited by Dr. Evil. Actually, they're not inhabited by anyone. This is because not only are the Australian islands barren, covered in ice, and incredibly remote, a two-week sail to the closest major landmass, the islands are also home to Australia's only active volcanoes. Sporadic eruptions on Heard Island began in 19. And in 1992, the submarine volcanoes of McDonald's Islands followed suit. While there hasn't been an eruption on either island in the last 12 years, consistent thermal activity and lava flow continue to be monitored via satellite. And the data concluded that one, the volcanoes on the island continue to be a risk to the safety of living beings, and two, you should 100% stay the hell away from these islands. And that's science, baby. Next up, we have a large pit said to be a gateway to hell. Uska Castle's chapel was built over this hole in the Czech Republic in order to keep demonic entities from climbing out of its depths. Before the castle was built, locals would tell stories of winged creatures crawling out from the pit and terrorizing people in the night. No one would ever dare going down to explore that pit. Aside from all the stories of demons crawling out of it, it was too deep to explore anyway. So in order to seal these demonic entities in, Huska Castle was built at some point in the 1200s, with the chapel built right over the gateway to hell, being the only place powerful enough to repel the hellish creatures below. Now, this story might sound pretty unbelievable, but whether or not you believe in demonic winged monsters or a genuine gateway to hell in the ground, it certainly seems like the people of the time believed in these stories, because this castle stands in a very odd location. Most castles were built in places that were advantageous in some way, but there were no trade routes close to Huska Castle, and it was built in a swampy forested area. It was also built without a kitchen or a source of water. Very strange. So it seems as if it was erected for one very specific purpose, sealing a gateway to hell. Next up, we have Krubra or Voronya Cave in Georgia, the world's deepest cave with a depth of 2,140 meters, that is 7,020 feet. Before you annihilate me in the comments because your mom's uncle's cousin actually went there once, I get it. People have been to the cave. In fact, they've been in the cave and they've licked the cave and they've done whatever the heck else in there too. Well, here's the thing. I'm not talking about the main cave. I'm talking about the part that you can't go because no one's gone and it's restricted. Read the title. Considering the fact that Veronia is the deepest cave on Earth, it probably comes as no surprise that a lot of the underground system remains unexplored, and for good reason too. It's incredibly dangerous. The terrain is steep and wet, and the bottom of the cave is a basin filled with water, meaning it's also filled with no-go unmapped zones as well. Fair enough, considering even the accessible zones are restricted to advanced climbers only. And even still, in August of 2021, a Russian man named Sergei Koziv was found dead inside the cave. It appears as though he slipped during his descent. He was found dangling from his rope more than 915 meters, 3,100 feet deep into the cave. Next on the list, we have Mars. 
Now humans haven't set foot on any planet other than Earth, but Mars is relatively close to us, you know, in the grand scheme of things, and uh, we've gotten rovers and stuff on there, so there's a bit more to discuss when it comes to the red planet. Now this place is completely uninhabitable, at least without highly advanced technology. We'd need some sort of protection against the high levels of radiation, we'd need some way of having breathable air, most likely some kind of dome-like structure. A manned mission to Mars would take about six to nine months, but who knows when we'll actually get to see that happen. Traveling out in space for that long, it's obviously quite a risk. It's one thing if something goes wrong on the way to the moon, but imagine being six months out into space and running into an issue. That is pretty terrifying. And we don't even know if there's aliens on Mars. I mean, it doesn't look like it, but they could be like hiding underground or something. Okay, next up we have the bottom of the Drake Passage. I mean, considering how dangerous this place is at sea level, it's really no surprise it ended up on this list. As of right now, not only has no one been approved to explore the depths of the Drake Passage, even if they were, I highly doubt they would be able to. Why? Because it's super dangerous. I mean, Forget the fact that the skies above the waters are infested with massive giant petrels that have been known to peck out sailors' eyes, and that the waters are filled with aggressive leopard and elephant seals and colossal squids and sleeper sharks, right? Forget that. And forget that there's been over 800 shipwrecks in the area, that it's littered with massive icebergs, and that the passage often faces hurricane-forced winds, whipping rains, and waves of up to 65 feet. Oh, I'm sorry, that's right, we can't forget that because if we did, we would die. While I am sure the waters beneath the surface of the Drake are full of amazing, incredible, unknown sea life, maybe even frickin' sharks with frickin' lasers, I understand that for now, exploring the depths of the area is just not something we are able or allowed to do, but a girl can dream. Next on the list are the stairs to nowhere. So in recent years, stories about eerie sets of stairs appearing in the middle of forests have started popping up, especially in American national parks like Yosemite. And nobody knows where these stairs come from. Park rangers have come out sharing strange stories about starting new jobs and being told by other park rangers to avoid these stairs at all costs, and most certainly not to climb them. It's been said that these stairs don't just lead to nowhere, they lead to a more horrific kind of nowhere. It's said that people have gone missing after ascending these mysterious sets of stairs, never to be seen again. As to where they go, some believe these stairs are gateways to alternate realities or dimensions, but no one knows for sure. The only people who have gone to wherever these stairs lead have never returned to tell about it. So basically what I'm saying is next time you're hiking through the woods and come across a set of out of place stairs leading up to nothing, climb up there. I want to find out what's up there and see if you can see what's up and uh, you know, and if you get whisked away to Narnia or something, just try and get a message back down to us. Next up we have the tomb of Qin Shi Huang modern day, because I am well aware that humans had to go inside the elaborate tomb to build it. But since then, the tomb has somehow become filled with dangerous levels of mercury, meaning that in modern times it is restricted and not one human alive today has stepped foot inside. And for good reason, other than the 100% chance of mercury poisoning, that is. It is believed that the tomb containing 8,000 life-size terracotta soldiers is also highly booby-trapped, meaning that there is potential danger at every turn. And if that's that's not enough, the tomb is also supposedly protected by a deadly curse. The curse of the terracotta soldiers, which came true for a group of seven men who discovered the soldiers in 1974 while digging a well for their town. Not only was their town destroyed, but three of them died and the others became impoverished and watched their families suffer. And if that's not enough, the structure of the tomb is also believed to be incredibly unstable, kind of like your last relationship, meaning that any attempt to open it could very well lead to its crumbling demise. Best to avoid this one. All right, when we think of unexplored parts of our planet, it's often the ocean that comes to mind first, and we're certainly not wrong to think that. About 95% of our ocean is unexplored, but there's also plenty of land we haven't set foot on either. The Northern Triangle subtropical forests are a vast expanse of greenery, stretching across Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador. They're teeming with diverse flora and fauna, but these forests are mostly unexplored. These forests are like the Amazon's lesser known 
unknown cousin. We often hear about the Amazon's wonders, but the Northern Triangle forests are mostly under the radar. So who knows what kinds of unknown secrets are in these forests? There could be rare species of plants or animals lurking in the depths. Scientists reckon there's this gold mine of undiscovered life forms waiting to be found. But these forests are also inherently dangerous for that exact reason. Bigfoot. I think there's Bigfoots out there. And to finish off our list today, we have the New Hebrides Trench located in the Pacific Ocean. Now, unlike the Drake Passage, some of the waters of this trench have actually been explored. By robots, that is. Not humans, which shouldn't come as a shock to anyone considering the fact that the trench is more than 7,000 meters deep, 23,000 feet. The robots were sent down with cameras and bait and were able to capture some amazing images and videos showcasing the diversity, or lack of diversity, of sea life on the ocean floor. Amongst the animals seen during the robotic expedition, there were arrowroot eels, cusk eels, prawns, and crustaceans. Samples of many of these animals were successfully obtained and brought to the surface as well. But what really surprised scientists was the absence of other animals usually seen at these kinds of depths. They believe the sparsity and diversity in the area might have something to do with climate change or, you know, frickin' sharks with frickin' lasers. There you got it, folks. Uh, some of the most unexplored places on the planet. Yeah, that's it's pretty crazy stuff. Who wants to pay for us to go and try and explore one of these places? Take some footage, send it back yeah, your yeah. way. Let us send know. A, send a comment. Uh, we've been your hosts. James. Hannah. See you next time. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> A Russian man named Sergei Goskoskoziv. You know, for a fact, people have licked that cave. <laughs> I lick caves. Next up, we have the tomb of Qin Shi Huang, the first. Uh, what was it? I forgot what emperor it was. I didn't write it down. Never mind. <laughs> it's science, baby. <laughs> So there you have it, folks. Some of the most unexplored places on the planet, other than your pants. <laughs> <laughs>